LSU will go to our left and Loyola to our right. Van Lith wins the tip. And we are underway in the Maravich Center. Johnson, a shot fake, dribbles in, 12-footer, good, and LSU's on the board. Yeah, I think it's important that LSU can hit those outsides early in the game. You know, and uh, Flaugé hit a bunch of those, hit a couple that we thought were threes last year. Her feet were on the line, but it's 2-0 very quickly, LSU. Thornton will get it out for a long three left side. That's up and no good by Hervey, and LSU back the other way with it. Van Lith will get it right wing to Johnson. Touch pass, Williams, three ball, right wing is good. Another outside shot made early on. That's two of them. Williams hits the three. Emily does have a lot of knowledge of Michaela. We gotta travel. Nope, official type, the, uh, the clock stopped, I think. Because it says 9.31, but I think we've been playing longer than that. I'll give us a chance, so you, of course, didn't play with Michaela, but you're from Bossier City, and Michaela's from Bossier City, so you know a little bit about Michaela. I do, yes. We played on the same AU team. I was on the older team, and then she was on the younger team. So I've watched her since middle school. So you've known for a while that she's ready for this challenge. Yes, definitely. She is ready, and she's going to be a great asset to this team. You know, she's got the body. You can, she just Some players, just you can look at them and say she looks like a ball player. And you look at Michaela Williams, she's got that look. Well, they're gonna, they got to go to the monitor, and uh, official review brought to you by Acme Oyster House. they got to go to the monitor, and they probably got to get a stopwatch out and tell uh, how long, how much time ran off, so they're going to have to click it down here, so a little bit of a delay. Seat Geek is now the official ticket marketplace of LSU Athletics. Whether you're buying or selling basketball tickets, Seat Geek is the place to do it. Seat Geek, so Tiger fans can fan. LSU looked like ran a couple of set plays to get those wide open shots. Yes, they started with the pick and roll, and they just hit those outside shots. Well, Michaela certainly knocked hers down, and she's going to hit quite a few of those. That's where LSU's going to get a lot of their outside shots. A little bit of half-court trap. Five to nothing, LSU has the lead. Hervey will get it top of the key to Babineau at six foot one. She's their biggest player. She's working the perimeter. Off balance three by McClure, way off the mark. Good to defense by Van Lith, and Reese has the rebound. And as she will do, will dribble it front court to Williams. Left wing into the left corner, Van Lith. She'll skip it right side. Johnson, a wide open three, and it's Boom. good. Another three. LSU is starting off on fire. Well, and they struggled from out there last week. LSU was just four for 19. They've already hit a couple, and it's eight to nothing. Right elbow jumper. It's uh, off the mark. No good by McClure. Taken by Williams. LSU wants to run. Van Lith thought about a deep pass. Gets it Williams left wing. Cut off by two players on a drive. So she'll lob it up for Reese. That's a good idea, but then had it blocked. Reese got it back. Leaner is good and a foul. I think LSU is doing a great job at transition offense. They're getting the ball out of the um, on defense and then getting it up the court quickly and finding that open player. And that's, you know, what coaches will do. They'll tell you offense is fun, but you got to still play defense right. out there. And uh, so far, LSU has stifled them pretty good defensively. Reese will shoot one. Her first uh, shot at it was blocked by McClure. Free throw is good by Reese. It's 11 to nothing, LSU. But then as Reese does, she got her offensive rebound. Oh, into the front court is McClure. Van Lith will get her, and McClure threw it behind her man. Van Lith has the steal. She's ahead of the pack. Lefty layup is good, and it's 13 to nothing. LSU off to a solid start as we've played barely two minutes. They are a little bit short. A travel. Good. That was on ball defense. Yes. Um, Coach Mokey always says the best offense is better with, when you have good defense. So that's important that they're playing good defense because it leads to good offense. So LSU very aggressive in their man defense in the half court. 13 to nothing. They've got the lead. Loyola is without their best player, All-American from last year, uh, Sandra Kennedy, who was injured. And they're struggling a little bit. Van Lith, right wing, passed up a three. Got it to Williams in the corner, right side for a three. No good. Morrow, rebound, put back from five feet is good. A good rebound. She did good reading that ball when Michaela shot. You know, and she, um, it's just there's a knack that Reese has, and then we're going to see that Morrow has. They just seem to know where the ball is and where it's going to bounce and where it's going to go. And she's got the physical tools to get it. Hervey for three, top of the key is good. Angel, I think, was a little late getting out there to guard her, and Hervey shot the three over and got it in. And it's 15-3. to three. So it took them two minutes, 40 seconds. They are on the board. 
Johnson right wing, fires it in the lane. Morrow leans in, lefty shot goes up off the glass and rim, no good. Tapped out by Morrow to Johnson in the lane. She dishes, one dribble, Reese laid up, no good. Morrow, the rebound, put up, no good. But there is a foul. Unfortunately for Loyola, Emily, they just don't have any bodies that are going to compare with Angel Reese and Anissa Morrow. Right, we've gotten a lot of offensive rebounds already, and I think it's just reading the ball when the ball is shot and just having the bigger body. Well, LSU has gotten all of the rebounds. They lead rebounds six to nothing right now. And Morrow's free throw is off the back iron, and it rattles and it goes in. She struggled. In fact, the team struggled a little bit at the line last week. 23 of 33. Morrow, in particular, was 0 for 2, but she made a couple there. Her first two points. And it is 17 to 3, LSU by 14. And we're now under seven minutes to go in the first quarter. McClure behind the top of the key. We'll get it right side to Ratcliffe, her first touch. She threw it underneath. Flaugé Johnson the steal, running a two-on-two. Two. Johnson down the lane. Layup over the rim is good. It's going to count and a foul. That reminds me of one of the drives Flaugé made in the national championship game where she took it right down the gut, had a couple people on her, didn't bother. Yes, definitely. And that was a great defensive play by Flaugé. Coach Mulkey always emphasizes that when the opposing team is turned has their back turned towards you to come back around and try to strip it from them, and that's exactly what she did. Yeah, she got down there, and because uh, she's quick, she had seven steals in the exhibition last week, and she is scoring at a nice clip. Free throw is good. plage has got eight. It's 20 to three, and we're only uh, three minutes, 15 seconds into it. Dan Lith working on Caitlin Travis, 5'6 freshman from Walker right down the road here, getting her first action. Top of the key to Babineau. She'll take a three. It's off the front rim, no good. Uh, but Van Lith tipped it out of bounds. That ball took a hard carom, and Haley couldn't corral it, so it'll stay on this end of the floor. Well, actually, you know what? They're going to change their mind. I thought Haley did hit it, but the officials mm -hmm. got together and said, no, it actually last hit a uh, Loyola player. Hey, we'll take it. Yeah, and uh, shooting 70%, 7 of 10. Uh, well, she will get another shot at it. Johnson will get it left point, Van Lith. Into the left corner, that's Williams. Williams is uh, being guarded closely. Got a re-screen, dribbled to an open spot. 17-footer, no good. Morrow put back, no good. Put back again, no good. She's still going after it. Can't quite get it, but a foul is called on Morrow. There was a lot of action going on down there, a lot of arms and bodies being kicked around. Yes, I think when we get the offensive rebound, we just need to focus, take our time, and put it back in the rim. So we'll go back the other direction. 20-3, to 3, LSU has the lead. Right side, that is Travis. Again, 5'6 freshman from Walker, played under head coach Corey Arnold, won championships while at Walker. Top of the key, thinking about a three, Ratcliffe, but Williams is all over that, so she will hand off to Travis. Off balance, 17-footer is good. Tough shot, got around the screen, found just enough room. Van Lith quickly, right wing Johnson, it's 20-5 to five, LSU. Johnson, left wing Van Lith, shot fade. Gets it back, right point Johnson. Now, throw, was trying to throw it into the lane, but it was knocked away and stolen. Threw it right to Ratcliffe, who then threw it out of bounds into the corner. It looked like she tried to find a hole in the zone that just wasn't there on the other end. Yeah, I think she was, I think it was a little bit of miscommunication. I think Murrow was, or Flage wanted Murrow to come in flash, and that just didn't happen. So I think it was just a little miscommunication. 20 to 5, LSU by 15. The Tigers 58% from the floor. Loyola 33%. Johnson gets a Morrow screen up top. We'll get it left point, Van Lith. Left corner, Williams dumps it left side of the lane. Reese turns six footer side of the rim, no good. And the rebound to Loyola. Number 25, Jada Farrell, who just checked in, got that rebound. Left side, shot fake, and then a three by Ratcliffe, no good. Off the iron, and LSU's got it. That's Reese. Reese left handed dribble, right wing, Williams traveled. 
little bit too athletic for her own feet there. She shuffled the feet, and we will take our first media break. 20 to 5, LSU by 15. LSU Athletics, that exchange on the other end of the court a little while ago when there was just Angel and, and Morrow just banging around getting rebounds. Loyola ball to our right, off balance three over Michaela Williams, no good by Travis, rebound by Flange. She wants to run. Outlet into the front court, Van Lith, left side will go to the baseline, skip it right side to Williams, bounce pass down low, Reese, right block, kicks it out left side to Johnson, Johnson to the free throw line, will dish it right side, Williams for a three, and it's good, ball movement outstanding there, and Williams bags a three. Yes, I think LSU is doing a great job at hitting those outside shots and getting it into the post. And they did both on that play, and it's 23-5, to five, and a takeaway, Johnson took it. She's now into the front court. Johnson will get it left side to Williams. Out to Morrow for three. She Another got it. one. That is just great ball movement, doing that extra pass for the open player. Well, LSU with five assists on nine buckets. It's 26 to five. Morrow shot a lot of threes at DePaul, but only shot about 23%. So she's got it in her bag. Didn't make a ton of them, but I expect she'll shoot a better percent this year. 26 to five, LSU four of six from the arc. And falling down left side of the lane, losing the ball out of bounds was Farrell. LSU will get it back. That'll I, be, I'm sorry, Emily, that'll be turnover number six for Loyola. I was going to say, I think LSU is doing a great job at pressuring the girls um, of Loyola and forcing those turnovers. Johnson will get it top of the key to Van Lith. They had a little bit of pressure, but uh, Van Lith will go right elbow off balance. Jumper is good. And Van Lith has got four. She's got a couple of buckets, a layup, and then that off-balance shot. And 28 to 5 at the 315 mark, LSU 59%. Van Lith pressuring the ball. She's on Travis, who fell down, but a trip on Van Lith. Another blonde-haired number 11 for LSU. I'm sitting next to the previous one. Oh, yes. Happy that Haley took over my number. I thought we were going to retire and put it in the rafters, but that didn't happen. <laughs> Maybe however, after Haley. <laughs> however, well, you know, and, and if Haley has a good enough year, I may uh, petition that they put both of you up there as co-number 11. Sounds good to me. On the inbound pressure, hard and the knock away and stolen in the lane. Morrow's got it for LSU. She can dribble a little bit. On the break, dish underneath to Van Lith. Hands it off to Reese in the lane. As she went up for the bucket, she is stripped of the ball and fouled by number 15, Thornton. Well, yeah, that's really the first time we've gotten to see Morrow dribble, and she looked pretty good doing it. Yes, I definitely think it was another one of the great offensive transitions that LSU's been doing this game. So LSU's got bigs who can dribble the ball. We know Reese can, and now and Reese hits the free throw, and we know also that Morrow can in a pinch. Now, it's not going to be the primary thing that LSU does, but it's good to know you got another big that can dribble it. Free throw missed. Rebound Williams. Fade away six-footer. Good by Michaela Williams, who has eight. Great offensive rebound. And what does it take to be a great offensive rebounder? I think just being able to read the, the shot and not backing down. And it took a kind of a hard bounce off the rim, but she was right there. Left-handed right. three. Left uh, right wing is good by Thornton. I think on that, Flage was just a little bit behind. And Thornton hits the three. You heard a little bit of a cheer behind us. She is from New Roads, went to Santa right down the road. And I think her people are here, 31 to eight. Van Lith, left point, puts it on the floor toward the top of the key. Picks up her dribble, right point to, her, uh, to uh, Williams. Down low, left block, turn around, Morrow, air ball over the rim from five. Reese put back, no, Reese put back again, yes. Angels got six, and LSU starting five has played all eight minutes, and uh, everybody's got at least four. A steal, Reese out on the perimeter's got it, and she's going to have it knocked away from behind very nicely by Thornton, and we'll have our first sub. It'll be Angelica Velez, the 5'7 freshman from the Bronx. Van Lith will get a, uh, a well-deserved rest. She looks like she is spent. Amani Bartlett also will come in. Johnson's got eight, Williams with eight, Morrow seven, Reese six, and Van Lith four. Morrow getting the breather. Bartlett played uh, in the exhibition last week. And uh, inbound, knocked away, and Loyola's got a steal. 
it was Thornton who came up with it. Pass down low to M.G. Lyman, who just checked into the game. Shot fake, and she laid it up and in. So LSU gives up points in transition, 33-10. to 10, Still the big lead. Johnson left wing, thinking about a three. Got a screen, gets it right side to Velez. The true point guard will dribble in for a 14-footer, and it's good. Good shot. She was the one open, and she took that shot. Yep, as the point guard, she kind of scanned the situation. Exactly. They gave her three feet. She dribbled in, shot at home, 35-10. to 10. Unless you buy a bunch. Travis, pass up top. Now a fire underneath. Lyman in a lot of trouble among a lot of big people, so she gets it out to Farrell, who dribbles in, takes a 12-footer. It's good. I look down, Emily. Who was that that bought on the bit on the shot fake? Um, it was, was Mc, it was Angel and then yeah, okay. Angel at the one outside. Yeah, Farrell did a good shot fake and somebody came flying this way. 35 to 12, 50 seconds to go in the quarter. Going baseline, Williams right side kicks it out left side. Johnson the rainbow three. three she got another one. Another one. LSU's doing a great job at doing the cross court pass for the open player. 38 to 12. LSU is 5 of 7, and that will warm Coach Mulkey's heart, I believe. 38-12 the score, 30 seconds to go. Right side three, Travis hit the glass into the arms of Johnson. LSU does not have to shoot, but Johnson's got a break. She'll scoop it up with one hand. It rolls in from about five feet. Claude Jane's got 13. And a pass down court tipped out of bounds with 12 seconds to go. LSU has put 40 on the board in one quarter. Number four will come in, Jada Washington, 5'5", sophomore from New Orleans. Washington uh, last year averaged just a point a game, scored two in their first game this year. They played an exhibition at Tulane, and their first real game uh, was about a week ago. Eight-footer off the glass, no good by Odell. LSU with seven seconds into the front court, has it. Williams right wing with four. She'll go right baseline, pulls up, good from 13 feet, right before the buzzer is to keep it going. Definitely, yes. This is the second group, so just keep that energy and enthusiasm up. LSU ball to our right. Uh, to left, I beg your pardon. Pool on the left wing. Kateri will uh, dribble inside the key. Get it right side to Kent. Fire down low. Del Rosario layup is good. A good pass inside right there. She saw the number of Del Rosario and got it to her. And she, yep, she made herself available. That's the key. 44 to 12. Meanwhile, Loyola was 5 of 13. They had uh, eight turnovers. The LSU scored 13 points off of them. Bounce pass, good anticipation by Poe at the free throw line. She saw it come and stole it. Lobs it right side to Kent. Quint, Kent quickly to the bucket. And I don't know if it was a shot or a pass, but it's out of bounds, and LSU will get it back. Janae Kent, one of the newcomers, wears number 20. 6'1 freshman from Oak Forest, Illinois, was very impressive in everything she did. Poa gets it to Del Rosario, turns five-footer short, no good. Samaya Smith put back no, but it was knocked out of bounds. Not a foul, just a knockout, so LSU will get it in. And number 11 is back for them, Alexis Babineau. The Del Rosario hit a couple of those little turnaround five, six-footers last week, missed that one. Inbounds will come to Poa, gets it at the top to Poole. Poole will get it right side to Kent. A little bit of pressure, gets around a Smith screen, gets it left wing, pull, she'll launch a three, that one's good. There's that energy that we wanted with this group. Right off the bat, got another three by Kateri Poole. And boy, those three, they're contagious. Like, it was like that in the national championship game, and it's like that tonight. You know, Poole struggled last week in the exhibition. She was 0 for 4 shooting threes. It seems like you're either, either everybody's on or everybody's off. And tonight, everybody's on. LSU's at six of them, 47 to 12. Poe got another steal, took it from Lyman. Hands it off to Poole down the left sideline. Poole will lob it into the right corner to Kent, who tried to bounce it underneath the Smith, and Babino got the steal for Loyola. LSU by 35, 8.20 to go in the first half. Travis will get it uh, left wing to Washington, pass underneath for a reverse layup, very nicely done by Babino. I think on that one, Del Rosario just got on the other side of her, and she left the basket right up, wide open. Poe around a screen, will get it right point to pool. Right corner, Kent, she'll take the three. That one's no good off the rim, and it kicks out long to Lyman. Lyman at five foot five. 
Gets it at the top of the key for a three. That's five to the rim, no good by Travis, but it kicks into the corner right side. Lyman chased it down. She'll take a three, and Poa got a block. It floats into the hands of Smith, who will dribble it into the front court. Right point to pull. No look pass. Del Rosario down the lane. Layup is good. Good ball movement right there. I'm going. I think this will probably be the five that will start against Colorado. If, but his coach has talked to us about LSU's got a lot of small and big and defensive and offensive combinations they can go with. It'll be fun to watch the whole development. Right baseline, it's Babineau with 7.20 to go in the first half, 49-14, LSU. Three right wing tangle is no good. Del Rosario bobbling the rebound, still fighting, finally got it. Sydney Tangle, a 5'6 senior from Carthage, Mississippi. Kent, left baseline, drives the baseline and has it blocked. I think it was number 12, Hervey, who got it. And into the front court comes Tangle. And we have a whistle away from the ball. Babineau is on the floor. That probably means Del Rosario put her there, and that is that is what happened. The block actually was by Travis, number 10. We'll give her the credit. And I, th I thought Kent had an alley to the bucket, and uh, defender said no. Inbounds, Babineau right corner. She's being guarded kind of away from the bucket by Del Rosario. Right wing to Travis. Into the right corner, that's Tangle again. Back at the top to Travis. Left side leans in for a 12-footer off balance. No good. That was good defense and a rebound by Poa. Into the front court. Diagonally to the right wing. LSU shoot by 35. Poa will get into the lane running. One-hander, no good. Del Rosario over everybody. Just reached up, snatched the rebound, and laid it back up and in. Good offensive rebound right there. I guess being big is an advantage, right? Definitely. The height difference is insane. <laughs> well, the big, their biggest player at six foot one, Del Rosario at six foot six. 51 to 14. A little handoff left side to Washington. Near the top of the key. A lot of ball pressure now at a long range. Kent with five, now four on the shot clock. In a little bit of trouble. Uh, Dribbling into that trouble was Tangle, and she is tied up with 2.2 seconds to go on the shot clock. It'll be Loyola ball. Yeah. Katiri Poole does a great job at reaching in there and tying up his balls. Yeah, and that's what she does. She is one of your defensive possibilities. 2.2 seconds. Got an inbound. Does get it in. Laid up high off the glass and in. Babineau had position on Del Rosario. Yeah, I think she got caught up on the screen right there. And Coach will remind her of that. Coach is kind of beside herself on the, down on the other end here. 51-16 LSU. Poole had it knocked away. And then a lot of slapping going on. And finally out of there with it is Tangle. Pass way up ahead is intercepted on the far sideline by Kent. Kent will get it to Kateri Poole, who will reset the offense. Down low to Smith, her first touch, double team. So it's out to Kent for a long jumper, a three no good left side. Poa tips it, it goes out of bounds. But Samaya had the double team and did the right thing. Right, she does that a lot, so does Angel. Angel does a great job at when the double team is happening, she finds that open player. So LSU, after a torrid start, has missed their last couple of threes. They are still six of 10, though. LSU with the lineup of Poa and Poole, Smith, Del Rosario, and Janae Kent. 5.17 to go first half, 51-16 at LSU. Travis will get it uh, right side to Ratcliffe. Down low, Babineau, and Del Rosario threw that one back at her. Taken by Poole off the block shot. Poole hit Smith in the lane, but there was too much traffic there, but LSU will get the break, and Smith is pointing up in the air at her. Yes, right there, I think. Smith wanted Kateri to pass it more up high so she can go and run and get it for him. Yeah, because when you uh, put it down low, a lot of hands got right. it. LSU got it back. Poa enters it down. Del Rosario, there's nobody down there big enough, and she lays it in. She's got eight. Power move right there. A lot of power, and it's six foot six. A lot of ability. Coach just wants her to be meaner. Says she's too nice. A lot of dribbling. Travis then a 17-footer right side. No good. Easy rebound. Samaya Smith lobs it left sideline to Poa on the wing. Poa threw it away. Well, that one was up in the air for Smith, and it was intercepted. Into the front court right wing to Ratcliffe. Tangle got that steal. At the top to Tangle. Left elbow will diagonally pass it to the wing for a three, and Smith got a little piece of that one. She'll get a block shot on Hervey's shot, and then she'll get it back in transition. Drives layup, no good. And, yep, yeah, Kent had it, but I think she was standing on the baseline. 
Yeah, Smith is running today. She's uh, the first one up the court. She's taking it from the rebound on the defense and running with it with the ball. She's very comfortable today. Alyssa Odell, six foot freshman from Zachary, is in. Number 25, Jada Farrell, is out. And Babino or in, and Babino will get a breather. Samaya is just a lean, lean running machine. Definitely. I know you had to probably try to keep up with her in practice a little <laughs> yes. bit. And uh, she can move. And she's very, very athletic, can jump out of the gym. 53-16, mm -hmm. lead is 37. LSU has scored only 11 points in this quarter. Driving a runner from about five is no good by Odell. Poa got it. She'll have it left wing. At the top of the key to Del Rosario. Back to Poa, left wing. Poa looking, 16 to shoot. We'll get it to Del Rosario. Turns, five footer, no good. But it's rebounded by Samaya Smith. Right wing Kent can't shoot the three. Baseline to uh, Smith. Dumps it underneath. Del Rosario lays it in. There's just nobody they've got that can match six foot six Aaliyah Del Rosario. She's got 10 on five of seven shooting. Also has four rebounds, 55 to 16. 316 to go in the first half. Top of the key three by Farrell. That's a brick. Kicks way out to the top of the key. Del Rosario got it. Hands it to Smith. Right wing to Kent. LSU will set the offense. Kent around the screen. On the screen roll. Got it to Smith. Smaya, 12 footer baseline is good. LSU is definitely emphasizing the use of their post players, whether that's a screen or a pass inside or a pass outside for a knockdown. Yeah, and uh, they've got ones who can hit it. Izzy Besselman in front of us. She's ready to check in. Another three fade away. That's short. Top of the key by Travis. Into the hands of Del Rosario again. Hands it to Poole. Poole will fire it down low. Caught by Smith. She'll kick it right side. Kent for three. No good. Rebound tip. Del Rosario's got it. Forces it upside to the rim. No good. Rebound Poa down there. I don't know how she got down there, but she laid it in. 59 to 16. Quickly back, LSU does answer in transition. 14-footer left baseline, Ratcliffe is no good. Smith way up ahead to Poa. And will wait. Del Rosario gets it right side to Kent. Dumps it down, right low block Smith. Had it knocked away, got it back. Out to Kent who will drive and lay it up and in. LSU is taking their time on offense. They're not trying to rush anything. They're just taking their time, finding the open player and knocking down shots. So Kent uh, gets her first bucket. I think both teams a little winded right here. The pace has been fast. It's 61 to 16. At the top, Ratcliffe. She'll go around to the right wing. Now back at the top to Odell. One dribble, 17-footer over Smith. No good. Short. Rebound long to Kent. Kent, top of the key. Dribble. Lost it. Got it back. And now is tied up. The possession will go to LSU. So Besselman is in and also Angel Reese for Del Rosario, who looks like she just ran the Boston Marathon. She needs a breather, but it was some good minutes. Bartlett just checked in instead of Reese. I'm sorry. Okay, it was Bartlett. Gotcha. You know, they um, they both, they all, between Johnson, Reese, and Bartlett, they got the white headband mm -hmm. and the long hair when they're sitting with their back to me right here. Right. Take one look. Yeah, it's, uh, and they're... Their numbers are covered by the long hair. Mm -hmm. So when they're walking away, you don't know. Pass uh, left wing to Poa. Poa lobs it up high for Bartlett. And it's knocked out of bounds off of Bartlett. And with a minute 10 to go. So the starting five has not played here in the second quarter. LSU had a couple of huge runs to break off to a 42-12 um, to 12 lead at the end of one. And it's now 61-16, run under a minute. Long three, wedges between the glass and the rim. So it's a tie ball, which will stay with Loyola. Now Loyola, and uh, was that Samaya Smith? That it was Samaya up? that jumped up and got that ball. <laughs> Using that height. Well, and the lead. The jumps, yep. When you combine 6-2 with vertical leap, Everybody see the everybody assumed it was Loyola's ball, but what happens when that ball wedges, it is a tie ball. It goes to the arrow. 
as Tangle missed and uh, wedged it in there. Pass in the lane, a little four-footer left it short by Odell. It's a good cut to the bucket, but she couldn't get it to go. Ball batted around near half court. Besselman finally has it, and she'll find uh, Kateri Poole. 43 seconds to go first half. LSU by 45. Poole around a screen is fouled up top by Tangle. Well, we've not had a lot of fouls in this game. In fact, that is Loyola's first foul of the quarter. So there will be no free throws. LSU's only shot six. Loyola hasn't shot any. Poole inbounds Besselman left baseline. She'll get it out long to Poole with 13 on the shot clock. To Samaya, turnaround, free throw line jumper is good. That's her spot on the jumper. Definitely, yes. Yeah. Samaya's hitting those outside shots. She's hit a couple. And it's 63 to 16. Loyola can play for one if they can hold on to it that long. They've only got 11 turnovers. LSU with eight. Bounce pass, top of the key to Odell. She will hand it off with 10 to shoot to uh, Tangle. Tangle with seven to the left wing. Bounce pass, left baseline. Odell's 14 footer, no good. Pool rebound. Pool to half court. Will launch it at the buzzer. It's short, no good. And that is how the half will end. So after a 40. Would, like, did Coach ever get really emotional? Does she do a lot of yelling and screaming? A lot of calm? Like, how was she normal? Like, what would be a normal? Does she ever get emotional? You know, and just start tearing paint off the wall? Yes, definitely. I think it just depended on the game. Sometimes she would come in there yelling at us. Sometimes she would ease up a little bit. So just depending on how we were playing. Emily can bring us these good stories. Hopefully we got time for more a little bit later. It's LSU starting five. They go to our right. It is Michaela Williams, right elbow into the lane, back out to Van Lith for a three, and it's good. And starting off strong, Williams did a great job at penetrating the defense and kicking it out for and, Van Lith. And if you remember last week coming out of the locker room, they got Van Lith a three that she hit. So they did it again at 66-16. Haley has only taken uh, three shots. She's made all of them. Pass tipped out of bounds. Flaugé trying to say she uh, either tipped it off the uh, offensive player or it went out of bounds off the offensive player. The official who was also right there not buying any of it, and it's Loyola's ball, as Thornton will inbound it, and she will get it into Babin. It looks like also they're starting five. They will play, uh, talking about Loyola, they play a game in Montgomery, Alabama tomorrow at 3 o'clock as part of their regular schedule. They're already 1-0. McClure fadeaway seven-footer is good from the top, uh, just inside the free throw line, 66-18. to 18. That was a nice off-balance look, her first bucket. Williams, a three right side. She got it. LSU starting hot like they did to start the game. They're 8 of 13. Michaela right there saw that her defender went under the screen, so she took that opportunity to make the shot. Pass down on the baseline. Awkward layup as there's a lot of defenders there. No good. It was an air ball, and uh, Morrow got the rebound. Off to Williams. She's driving through traffic. Nice move in the lane. One hander over the rim and in. Great move right there by Michaela Williams. Now, are you going to tell me she was making those moves in the eighth grade when you played with her in AAU? <laughs> Maybe not the eighth grade, but definitely in high school, probably freshman year. And a, a foul, little aggressive, Michaela, out on the uh, perimeter on the defense. Boy, she just, you, she, she looks the part. And she is the part, definitely, apparently. Definitely, yes. Definitely the part. 71 to 18. Williams has 15 points. A three by a Babineau, it looked like. Yep, no good. Long rebound out to Williams. Up ahead, right side, Van Lith will go right baseline. Will, oh, no look. And Reese said you should have thrown it higher. She threw it low. It was stolen underneath by McClure. McClure uh, over on the far sideline. She will uh, go between the circles now. Two minutes into the third quarter. Uh, She'll decide to take a three. It's off the back iron. High rebound, and then it bounced off the floor, but it's taken eventually by Morrow. And off to the races is Williams. Down the lane, tried to dump it underneath the Van Lith, who had tripped and, fall, and fell down. The ball's out of bounds. I think right there Williams didn't know if she should take it or pass it to Van Lith, and then when she went to pass it, she just kind of bobbled it a little bit. Yeah, and actually, as, I, as we look at the replay, Van Lith, hadn't fallen until a little bit later, mm -hmm. but she looked like she was looking at the bucket waiting for a rebound. Right. And that's all just part of playing together. Definitely. Yeah, you know, that that in February, that probably won't happen. Probably won't happen in December. This is they get a little more used to each other. Thornton had it knocked away, stolen. Van Lith has it. Van Lith through traffic, finds Morrow, leans no good from five. 
but she is fouled. You heard, actually it was a blocked shot by Johnson, by Flauger, and you heard the crowd react. And it was with the, oh my good, yeah, because I, I had looked away a little bit, and when I look up, LSU's headed the other way, but as I look at the replay, Johnson blocked what was about a 17-foot shot attempt, and she almost spiked it like a volleyball. Back iron, no good from Morrow. Second free throw coming. So she is two for three at the line. LSU has only taken their seventh trip. They have kept Loyola from going to the line at all. Second one spins up. That's too long. But there's Reese leaning. She missed from five on the offensive board, but she's fouled. Boy, how many of those did we see Angel get last year? Yeah, I think we've had multiple this game, too, just offensive rebounds off of missed free throws. And, you know, Coach Mulkey emphasizes the us making free throws. And so I think that they're going to come a point where those free throws are going to be really clutch for us and we need to hit, knock them down. Free throw is good by Reese. And uh, I will we'll point out that LSU has gotten almost all of the rebounds. It is 41-6. to 41-6. to six. So that's a whole bunch to not a bunch. Reese's second one is good. And again, we'll mention their best player is not with them, uh, Sandra Kennedy, 6'1 graduate, averaging last year 15 points, 10 rebounds. That's a little bit of a difference, but she is hurt. And not having her has uh, made it even a little tougher than it normally is, than it normally would be. McClure left elbow will pass left side inside the arc from about 14. Harvey missed, no good. Rebound by Reese. Outlet down the left sideline, Van Lith. Thought about a three. Then we'll instead dump it down low to Morrow. Left low block. Nice move. Spin. Good. Really good spin move right there by Morrow. I think when you get the ball to her, down in that spot, she's going to be very difficult to deal with. 75-18, a 12-2 run LSU. Into the lane. Awkward shot that was forced by Johnson. But there, and actually Johnson was called for the foul. I believe it was Thornton who was going for the bucket. At the 637 mark, Odell, the freshman from Zachary, will come in. I think she also has a little cheering section here. Denia Thornton will shoot. Free throw is good. That is their first free throw of the night. Thornton, as we've told you, from Santa Ma, or graduated from Santa Ma. So a little bit of Baton Rouge metro area flavor on the Loyola squad. Lefty throws that one up and it also goes in. A couple of nice bounces. She's got five and it's 75 to 20. 6.30 to go in the third quarter. Johnson, left wing. Gets a high screen from Morrow. Will go inside the key. 16-footer straight away. Silky as can be. Good Johnson. shot right there. Johnson came off that screen, ready to shoot, ready to take it herself, and that's exactly what she did. It's like she knew ahead of time like what was about to happen, right. and she executed it. Johnson, 15 points. Her first bucket of the half. Kateri Poole will come in. Reese poking at it. Can't quite get it on the perimeter. Pass at the top. Almost stolen again, but another foul. A hand check. Might be Johnson again. Mm -hmm. And she's going to come out, and uh, Kateri Poole will come in. I think on that last play, all the LSU girls were kind of just everywhere. Um, a lot of the, they didn't have their man, so it was just kind of getting through the play and trying not to foul. And that's what I think Coach Mulk is mm -hmm. explaining to Flauge to our right. As, and we, and Shia to talk with us about this, we talked about it in the first exhibition. Flauge, as at the beginning of her freshman year, had a lot of fouls. And she got way better at it as the year went by. Long, long three. Didn't get there. McClure barely grazed the iron. The ball gets out of bounds. But she improved on it. Got right. a lot better at right. not fouling. Yes, Coach Mulkey would emphasize that a lot in practice because Flaget would foul a lot in practice. Um, and that's just something that she needed to work on, and she definitely did that. Good shot fake. Van Lith, 13-footer right side is good. She faked left. Defender bit. She went right, drained the jumper. That is Van Lith, the true scorer right there. She is 4 of 4 from the floor tonight. 79-20. Right point three, no good by Ratcliffe. Rebound Morrow, off to the races, outlet Van Lith. She'll pull up for three right side around the rim and no good. 
but rebound tipped into the corner, and Morrow got it. Out to Van Lith, another shot fake, dribble in. 15-footer spun out. Reese tipped the rebound, is taken by Odell. Odell will pull up from 14. That one's no good. The rebound's out of bounds, back to LSU. Samaya Smith will come in. Morrow is out. So you got Smith and Reese, combination we saw a lot last year, to go with Williams, Poole, and Van Lith. Back in the first quarter, LSU played their starters the entire first quarter back uh, to start the game. In this quarter, I think we're seeing mix and match from Coach Williams. 16-footer off the screen, good, just like the one Johnson hit a little while ago. It's 81 to 20. Yes, they definitely, they practice that every single day in practice, coming off that screen and looking to score themselves. Last year, Poe will come in. I was going to say, I think, Coach, is kind of, we're seeing the sub patterns we might actually see in a game. Five-footer banked in the lane by Odell. And uh, her cheering section from Zachary is here. And it's 81 to 22. Van Lith right side being guarded by Tangle. Looking for a screen from Reese. Got it. And then we'll launch a three. It's off the back iron. Smith, the long rebound, though, had it knocked away. Good hands in there by, I believe it was Tangle. And into the front court, Loyola. McClure will hand it off uh, way out away from the bucket is a Harvey. 81 to 22. Almost a travel, but Tangle uh, got it over on the right side. Again, almost a travel. A lot of shuffling of the feet, but Thornton's got it. Nine to shoot. Out very long it with five and taking a very long three. McClure, about a 30-footer. It kicked off the iron, but an offensive rebound, and the uh, dribbler dribbled it right into Poole, who took it away to Van Lith. Two on two. Van Lith, off balance, six-footer. Good from the right side with the left hand. Van Lith is an amazing offensive player. She does that little step fake, pass fake, whatever she does, and she just knows how to score. It was Thornton who turned it over a while ago. Poole got the steal, and then uh, Van Lith, again, averaged close to 20 points a game last year at Louisville. May not do that this year, but she's got it in the bag if necessary. I think Reese got a tip away. Loyal the player uh, Harvey on the floor has it, gets it off to a teammate who fires to Tangle, who missed a three left wing, but the rebound came off to McClure, and then she will go and hoist one from the corner, and it's in for three. 83-25. Poole into the front court. Right sideline to Van Lith, fires it hard down low. Reese, layup is good. Great pass, great finish. Angel did an amazing job at posting up early and showing Van Lith her numbers to get it to her. Five assists for Van Lith in the game. You know, sometimes the post player wants it up. That time they needed it down, and right. Van Lith threw the fastball, and Reese good hands caught that one. Del Rosario will come back in, a little roll to the basket, but missing the running four-footer was Harvey. Into the front court, Van Lith, down the lane. Nice move around her man, wow. and a five-footer is in. Van Haley Lith Van knows Lith. how to score. Well, she broke a couple ankles there. 87-25. <laughs> You still hear the crowd ooing and eyeing over that. As we approach two minutes, we haven't had the media timeout yet, which usually comes at five. So we're playing on uh, a lot of continuous play here. Rebound, actually missed three. Looks like it was McClure. She got it back, fired it up again, no good. And it's tipped out, and LSU's got it. Reese has it. Minute 42 in the quarter to Williams. Open right wing three. It's good. Boom. And Kim Mulkey wants it. I don't know if, it was, if that was at the advice of the head coach. Uh, but either way, and it's probably again, both. Yeah, and it's good to know again that she's got that ability if LSU ever needs it. There will probably be a game this year where her scoring will be the difference in LSU winning. A minute 23 to go in the quarter. Poole has fouled a shooter. She swears she didn't touch anybody but she is called for the foul on Kate really get mm -hmm. noticed. And Smith quietly accumulates rebounds. Del Rosario had seven. Morrow with nine points, nine rebounds. And the free throw uh, by Travis coming out of the break is good, so it's 90 to 26. Second one high in the air, and it's also good. No, the second one makes it 90 to 27. Poole enters it down low. Del Rosario picking up where she left off, laid it in. 
She saw Del Rosario run the floor and she got it to her. As they say, you uh, reward your big people. Right. They're going to run the floor. Bounce pass across the way. Had too much English. It rolled to the out of bounds area, but then it was saved in bounds by Tangle, but then it was again taken back by Poole, who hits Poa in the lane. A lot of traffic there. Ball knocked out of bounds. And LSU will get it back. Poole used her quick hands right there to get the, to the, get the steal and pass it up to Poa. Yeah, might have been a little little too much mm -hmm. congestion in the lane. A lot of people were in a small area. Poole gets it in. Del Rosario turns flip shot from five feet is no good. It's rebounded by Odell. <laughs> Bria McClure into the front court. We'll pass it left wing. Wide open. Nobody there. Jump shot good by Travis. Well, somebody missed out on that one. Yeah, I think that was just a little bit of miscommunication on the transition defense. Poa tries to lob it for Del Rosario, not high enough. It's tipped out of there and stolen, taken in the corner by Odell. And with 25 in the quarter, a one-second difference on the clocks, they might try to play for one. Farrell at 5'8". Nope, she's going to dribble down the lane, and she was met by Smith and Del Rosario, who knocked it away. She got it back. Pass left side of the lane to Tangle, a six-footer no good, taken by Smith. Quickly into the front court, Janae Kent will dish it to Poa, who lays it in with five seconds to go in the quarter. Good Poa, way to finish the quarter right there. And Poa's got four, and uh, Loyola cannot inbound the ball. So we will uh, end three with LSU up 94. Texarkana 91-62 last Friday. Lost to Tulane in an exhibition this past Monday, and they play a game in Montgomery, Alabama at 3 o'clock tomorrow. So it is a busy time for them, and they're a little bit, two of their better players are down with injuries. Spin move in the lane, spun a little bit too much. Odell traveled, and LSU will get it back. On that play, Poa and Poole did a great job at digging in, getting their hands in there, and allowing her to travel. Yeah, and uh, because they're just their presence is mm -hmm. so much pressure. I think, you know, if, if you pass down low, oh, knocked out of bounds and it went off of Del Rosario's, Kent dumped it down low. But if I'm on a basketball court and I've got Kateri Poole and last year Poe near me, I'm nervous. Right, right, definitely. Because they have the ability to take it from you or at least make you make a bad decision. Quick perhaps. hands, yes, quick hands, quick feet. Farrell at the top will bounce past left point to Odell. Hands it off to Ratcliffe. Oh, Poa almost got a steal, but her man will instead take a three. It's no good. Uh, McClure missed the three. Offensive board tipped away out, and there's Smith knocking it away from Poole, who had it scraped away and saved in bounds by Odell near half court. She gets it to Travis, left side, 10-footer over Smith, who made her change that shot big time. No good. And the long rebound out to Smith. She's got a one on three. She, well, is going to go to the baseline. Out to Poa. Wide open three is long. No good. Rebound, though. Del Rosario. And she threw it out and threw it away. And it has gotten a little sloppy here as that steal was made by Tangle. Pass in the lane. Five footer off the glass. No good by Odell, but another offensive rebound. As Tangle, Tangle had been saying her name a lot. She has been active in the lane again. This time, shot up and good by Odell. And it's 94-31. Anissa Morrow is going to come back in. Poa drives right baseline, leans in, finishes, and a foul. Poa saw a wide open gap diagonally to the bucket, and she kind of leaned in. Emily drew the contact, it looked like. Yes, we practice that every day during practice, you know, getting the ball in the wing and taking it in, and she just finished it. And some uh, subs. Morrow will come in, Del Rosario will get a breather. And Poa, outstanding free throw shooter, she's got six points. Flaugé Johnson, who, oh, she missed that one short. Rebound, Morrow chases it, it's out of bounds, and LSU will get it back. I don't think we're going to see Johnson, Reese, Van Lith, Michaela Williams again. Michaela had 20, Flaugé 15, Van Lith 13, and Reese had 10 points, 9 rebounds. And I think their evening is probably done here with 8.16 to go and a 65-point lead. Poa dumps it right side to Morrow. Caught it, turns, shot won't count. Shot, she was fouled by number 11, Babineau, before the shot. It was a nice turnaround shot. And again, we're just seeing some of the raw talent that these players have. It's just amazing the amount of talent 
Yes, everyone can score, everyone can play defense, everyone can rebound. Well, and Kent trying oh. to do that there. Morrow missed about a six-footer, and Kent almost had the rebound, but it was knocked out of bounds. And uh, LSU will give it back. Tigers 61% from the floor, Loyola 22%. LSU 9 of 17 on threes, Loyola 3 of 23, and LSU out rebounding them 53 to 15. Jada Farrell at the top will get it. Uh, left point, Babineau missed a three. Long rebound, Samaya Smith. She's got 11 now. Poa left wing to Smith running the floor. Touch pass out in the corner to Kent. Fakes a three, dribbles in the lane. Seven footer, no good. Rebound, put back Smith, no good. Smith tipped it. Morrow has it. Turn, four footer, good. Another turnaround jumper. Yeah, I usually got to be looking at what I'm shooting, but uh, did you have the turnaround in your repertoire? I did not. You at least to, not as good as her. You had to be seeing what you were shooting. Right, at. yes. <laughs> Down low, Smith is guarding her man who got the entry. Morrow took it away from Babineau. Off to Poa, 98-31. LSU can get to 100. We still got 7.15 to go. Poa lobs it for Smith, and on the backside to help, it's intercepted. Actually knocked away by M.G. Lyman, but then as she's running the break, she passes it out of bounds into the corner, and that will be turnover number 18 for Loyola. LSU's got 16. Coach is not going to like that number a lot. Yes, I think that's definitely something that they need to work on in practices is their turnovers. Yeah, and she will break down. Was it the starters? Was it the bench players? Right. Pool free throw line jumper. That's no good. Taken by Babineau. Babineau will lob it up ahead to Lyman. 5'5 five, five junior. Lyman around Pool, but then Pool, I think, poked it away from behind. The quick hands once again. Yeah, that, you know, we see between uh, Pool and Poa. And even Reese, like you think you're around them, and all of a sudden that arm comes around out of right. nowhere. Right. Alexis Morris did a great job at doing that last year. Yeah, you you think you got her beat, mm -hmm. and then uh, turns out you hadn't had her beat. Babineau misses on the lane. I think Smith might have got a block on that. Poole has it on the rebound free throw line. Right side, Morrow, open three, back iron. Rebound, Janae Kent, out to Poole. Fake the three, fired at the Poa underneath, laid it in. That was a good possession. Good offensive rebound, good pass out, good pass back into Poa. All around great possession. Yep, uh, Morrow's shot was a good one. It had beautiful right. spin, it just didn't go in. Six footer missed by Travis. Poole's got it into the front court to Poa. 6-12 to go, LSU's got their 100, 100 to 31. Poa dribbles baseline, is fouled. We'll see if it's a shooting foul. I think it probably is. Foul on Travis. And number 12, Harvey will come back yet. And uh, Farrell will leave. And Poa will shoot a couple. Poa was 87% uh, last year. Missed one earlier. Missed one last week as well. Got that one. The most time she's going to hit nothing but net. 6-10 to go. It is 101-31. LSU starters got them off to a 42-12 lead at the end of one. Poa hits again. She's got now double figures, 10 points. One, two, three, four, five, six LSU players. Seven LSU players in double figures. Poa 10, Morrow 11, Reese 10, Johnson 15, Van Lith 13, Del Rosario 12, and Michaela Williams 20. Underneath pass knocked away and is taken out by Kent. She'll bring it front court. Right wing, picks up her dribble, looking to enter. Couldn't quite get it to Morrow, but still finally now does. And then she turns, fires from about 10, no good. There's Poa on good the rebound. Good rebound by Poa, crashing in. I had no idea she was the offensive rebounding machine that we've seen tonight. Yes, I think they have Kateri Poole getting back on defense, so that leaves an opportunity for Poa to come in and get those offensive rebounds. 104 to 31. LSU a 10 to 2 run here in the fourth quarter. Lyman is tied up. Out on the perimeter by Morrow. The possession will go to LSU. Imani Bartlett's going to check in. And that'll probably be it for the night for Morrow. 11 points, 12 rebounds. And she hit a three. LSU's got nine threes. Williams at four. Van Lith at one. Johnson one. Poole one. Morrow one. A lot of different ways this team's going to be able to beat you this year. And the lead is 73. Poole bounced it up, tried too hard to get it down to Bartlett. Another turnover that Coach is probably not going to be too excited about, and Harvey got it. 
as we're under five minutes, so we'll get a break at the next whistle. Off balance, 12 footer, no good by Babineau. Rebound taken by Samaya Smith. Babineau now two of eight from the floor. Left wing Kent will lob it right wing to Poole. Poole trying to break her man down. Will then dump it down low in a lot of traffic. Caught finally by Smith. Five footer, no good. And it's tapped around, taken by Loyal as number 10, Travis. She'll go left wing baseline Lima and try to reverse layup and hit the underside of the goal. And Samaya Smith has her 14th rebound. Poole will lob it front court to Kent. Left wing. Going to get a screen from Bartlett. She'll dribble and force up uh, almost an air ball from about 17. And it's taken by Lyman. Three ball right wing. That one is short. No good by Tingle. Velez and Del Rosario will come back in for LSU. Poole will get it right side to Smith. She dribbles around her man and lays it in. Samaya Smith feels comfortable in her position tonight. She's Velez is back in. She played a couple minutes in the first half. She uh, right now is tasked with guarding Tangle. Lyman inside the key pass, knocked away. There's Velez. Velez going to try to go one on one to the bucket, lays it in. Good, quick hands right there on the defense, and then she took it all the way and finished strong. Yeah, had a man right on her hip mm -hmm. the entire time, but she finished from the left side. Velez, a true point guard, and very quick. 108-31 LSU. Izzy Besselman is back at the scorer's table. And uh, I think Janae Kent also Janae is going to come yes. in. 12-footer off the glass, no good by Harvey. And LSU will bring it back the other way. Velez will get it right wing to Poole for three. She's bumped, missed the three, had it rim out. But Poole will shoot three with 2.56 to go. And Besselman is coming in, gonna come in for Poole. So Besselman's gotta wait. Poa will check out for Kent. And Emily, I know you've sat there before. You're praying that Poole hits that third free throw. <laughs> So that so Izzy can come in, yeah. yes, sir. You know how uh, how that works. Pool mm -hmm. makes the first one because if she misses the third one, the ball is in play, and you don't know. You have to wait, right? Yeah, that's second one is good. So now Izzy's hoping Pool makes the third one here. That's the big one, so she can get back in the game with 2:56 to go. 110 to 31. Third one is good. And here is Izzy. She played a little bit in the first half. Poole will check out. And right now, LSU is shooting 75% from the free throw line. So that's definitely something Coach Mulkey will be happy about. 12 of 16. And they're 5 of 6 in this quarter. 58% from the floor and 50% shooting threes. So regardless of who you're playing against, when the ball goes in the bucket, that tends to be a good uh, thing. Yes. This shot, Ratcliffe uh, and LSU's Kent's got it. Up ahead to Besselman, right wing. Bartlett calling for it underneath. Besselman can't get it to her. Besselman got popped in the face, it looked like. She dribbles through it. Gets into the lane. Ten-footer, no, but she's fouled. Now, Izzy had a, a pretty violent trip there. Oh, she got banged in the face, but she dribbled out of it, got into the lane, and then was fouled on the jump shot. Right, the defense was right on her that entire time, but she kept her cool, kept her composure, and then dribbled in and took the shot. Look, Izzy will get a couple. I mean, that talk about that adrenaline when this, in, you know, it's a blowout game, but the entire building is rooting hard for you. Besselman hits the free throw. I mean, it's something that you probably can't describe what it feels like. Right. It's an amazing feeling, something I never got tired of, something that Izzy will never get tired of. Just to have that support. You know, she doesn't have the biggest role on this team, but she has a role, and it's important. 113-31. She hit the second one also. LSU's up by 82 now. With 2.20 to go, Lyman at the top to Tangle. Tangle will dribble left side. Del Rosario affected her runner. Ball batted to Izzy, snagged it. And then uh, is double teamed, and they've, they've got her tied up. And it will go to Loyola. Well, everybody kind of ran off and left mm -hmm. Izzy, it looked right. like. Yeah. I think she would love to have a guard back there yeah. to, to help her out with the double team. I think LSU is so focused on transition offense yep. that they kind of left her. Yep, somebody got to stay back and help Izzy. Right, just got to remember that. Tangle will inbound. 
or attempt to. We'll get it left side of the lane to Lyman. Gets into the lane. Four-footer, no good. I think, again, Del Rosario mm -hmm. affected that shot. Pass underneath. Velez hits Del Rosario, who lays it in. That was an outstanding look of about a 40-foot pass there, 115 to 31. LSU has scored 21 straight points. Loyola only has two points in the quarter. Seven-footer, well, it, as I've spoke that into existence, Lyman hits about a 12-footer. I think Izzy just gave her too much space on that one. She was there just a little bit too far away. Velez, free throw line, hands it off to Del Rosario, who lays it in. That was a good pass right there. And she made it, made it happen, got down deep. And uh, Del Rosario, 16 points. Substitution for uh, a timeout, but just for a substitution, Kelly Landry, their coach, I think is going to put in their version of Izzy. Number third, actually, her name's Isabella. Isabella April, a 5'8 sophomore from Kenner who usually plays sparingly, You're going to get her in the last minute 20. And they're guarding each other, too. Much anticipated matchup. <laughs> Inbound will come to Tangle. Velez guarding her. Gets a screen, will go right wing. Now we'll get it up top. There is April for three, and it drew nothing but floor. Izzy was there close enough to mm -hmm. guard her, and uh, you knew that shot was going up. Right. Did you have that mentality when the crowds, like when you got the ball sometimes, you're like, I'm shooting this thing? Sometimes, but I didn't want to force anything to get the shot up, so I would just, if I was open, I would shoot it, but if not, I would look for my teammates. Good Duck, move. Ducking under, yeah, Bartlett, a double team underneath, and she managed to force it off the glass. 119 to 33. That's got to be a hard thing when the entire building is yelling shoot, but you know the right thing to do is right. pass. 10-footer, that one's good by Odell. So it's 119 to 35. 40 seconds to go. Pass stolen in the front court. Tangle. Tangle free throw line will hand it off to Odell. Five footer, no, but she is fouled. And she'll get a couple of free throws. Odell, as I mentioned, she's from Zachary. Played for uh, Coach Tammy McClure there, who was John Kenny's high school coach at St. Michael back in the day. A couple of state championships at St. Michael for uh, Coach McClure, and now has been the coach at Zachary for a few years. And Odell, one of her several players that she has sent to college. Back iron on the free throw, no good, with 35 seconds to go. And Bartlett's score made it to where every single LSU player has scored. So they're that all on the board. All of them. All 13 yep. of them. Free throw rattles in. So this will be the last possession for LSU. See what they do with it. Velez into the front court, gets it right wing to Kent with 30 seconds to go. Kent looking around, going to get uh, to the free throw line. Pass to Besselman, left corner. No shot to be had. So she's going to now try to go baseline. Dump it behind her for a 16-footer uh, by Bartlett that's good. Izzy right there rejected the screen, and they double teamed her, and she found Bartlett right there for the shot. So Izzy will get an assist. Not as mm -hmm. glamorous as a bucket, but she'll take it. <laughs> Seven seconds to go. Air ball from about 10 by Tangle. Rebound batted around. Velez has it. She will dribble out the clock. And LSU wins their second exhibition. The final score, LSU 121 at Loyola 36. We'll take a break, come back, and begin the post game. Chol ke ba, bande hi 